this is a doubt on sign convention related to bending moment diagram and shear force diagram i'm going to explain the doubt using shear force diagram let me read out the doubt so that we can explain this properly as per your video lecture 2.8 shear force diagram for simply supported beam you have illustrated the example in which sft is shown to be negative here and positive here okay i was also referring to some books and found sign convention to be opposite to that of this that is this is positive whereas this is negative how come there is this difference among the textbooks which one should i follow that is the question okay in order to answer this let me just explain the difference between internal force and external force these are external forces as you can see now to write down these forces let me use a coordinate system so this is x this is y and i wish to write down let's say this force so left let's say force at b is written as the magnitude of p times minus j vector okay which is equal to minus p j vector very simple straight forward similarly we can write for a y force at b force at c force at d okay unlike this which are external forces the internal forces are not this straight forward we wish to find out the shear force between a and b so in order to find the internal force we need to section it so we section it let's say at a distance x from a we'll draw the free body of this and free body of this okay so let me do that over here this is the right hand side part this is the left hand side part this point is a is you have b c and d okay so we can write draw all the forces over here which are external to the free body having cut here and here we have exposed internal forces the two internal forces that appear are one is shear force the other is moment or bending moment on this face whatever we have drawn here uh, will be the forces on it except it in the opposite direction this will be vx why so because if i join these two together this vx and this put together will be equal to zero similarly the moment will be in the opposite direction mx this is where the problem arises so if i have to write the shear force should i use this side or this side that's the question okay and therefore we need what is called the sign convention okay it is something that is followed by the user and therefore it is user specified which is the best one it depends on the user okay so having said this let's just explore one sign convention and understand this better i'll draw the free body but this time indicating the face so that it's easier for us to identify the sign convention okay the face is cut such that its normal is in the x direction so let's say positive x direction okay let's represent the shear force alone here the shear force is represented like this this is vx okay there is also a moment and we just not going to bother or bother about this moment for now okay we are focusing on shear force okay if i look at this face which is this side this is the face normal which is in the negative x direction <clears throat> and the shear force is downward like this okay 
if i take this to be positive this also has to be positive both these are the same one and the same internal force so we will say that if if on the positive face meaning a face for which the normal is in the positive x direction if i have the shear force in the positive y direction so i'm just going to say positive v then v uh, v is positive okay on the other hand if i have it as negative face and negative y direction then also v is positive okay otherwise it is negative so this is the sign convention we are proposing who has proposed the sign convention it is the user please mind you that it is the user that has for convenience given this particular sign convention so let's look at what would be the value of this vx according to the sign convention for this problem so let's take the free body of this if i take sigma fy equal 0 let's say upward direction is positive this implies ay plus vx is equal to 0 ay is nothing but 4 by 3p which means i get vx to be minus 4 by 3p a negative value okay i can do this for portion bc as well as cd that's what is pl plotted over here and therefore the sign convention that is followed is what is shown over here let me just add a little bit more what is the advantage of using this kind of sign convention okay let me quickly do a verification of whether i have drawn this properly or not okay now let's look at the portion ab okay i have started from a let me just extend it a little bit before this before this the shear force is zero okay at this particular point there is a force 4 by 3 acting upward so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shoot it up like this by 4 by 3p okay in order to do that i will take this as the x direction and the positive shear direction to be like this okay so this is therefore minus 4 by 3 that i get here there is no other force acting here so i should have it as constant all through this at b there is a force p acting and therefore it will nullify some of this 4 by 3 p to the extent that the value that you get here at the end of this force is minus 1 by 3 p okay beyond this beyond b and till c there is no force and therefore it is a constant after that there is a force again 2p acting at c and therefore i have to add 2p to this so that i get 5 by 3p as this value positive and finally i and i have another force over here which is 5 by 3p so that i end up at zero and beyond this it is zero okay and therefore i have verified that it is okay the advantage of using this kind of convention is so that i can follow the forces as they look like this is upward and therefore i'm going upward like this this is downward i'm going downward this is downward i'm going downward here this is upward i'm going upward here okay so it all depends on the convenience that you use similar is the case for bending moment diagrams okay i hope i have been very clear in identifying the sign convention that is followed it is for the user to use any particular sign convention as long as the sign convention is specified okay thanks